god, that song is just so good. Hey, I have no it's idea 80s music. Of course it's fucking good. <laughs> I still can't believe the never-ending story reference in the last season. <laughs> Dude, there have been references all over the place. Back to the Future, Terminator, uh, Ghostbusters. You, what I love that, about the never-ending story show. What I love about the never-ending story reference is everyone's reaction. You just have everybody looking in complete shock, and then you cut to Hopper and um, Joyce, and they're just in the Russian bunker. Just this is what our lives have become. And fucking Hopper's in the background hitting his head against. Why did I fucking do that? Oh, and there's one season because left of the crazy. show. Shut up. Uh. <laughs> what was that, um, well, Riley? And there's one season left. I know that! Yep, it's the final season. Also, uh, Magical Star, yeah, Angela, like, okay, not only does she humiliate her, like, Jane tries to reason with her, saying, hey, you owe me an apology, and then she had the fucking audacity to just say, oh, why don't you go cry to your dad? Oh, wait, you don't have one. Wow. Because, uh, because of the events of, yeah, because yeah, of the events of Jim Hopper allegedly died at the end of season three. Even though he's not dead, he's... Uh, spoiler, 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 spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. Oi, 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 oi. No, but... Okay, no spoilers. I mean, it should be obvious that he's not dead because, you know, acting role, but yeah. But the character. So she basically yeah. made an insult to a dead figure. Yeah, and the thing is, like, she already did it beforehand in the very beginning of episode one. When Eleven did her little speech about Hopper... Oh, I'm sorry. Not We're supposed to be looking for historical people. Fuck yourself, and bitch. Jane, yeah, and Jane's like, but he is historical. He saved lives. But nope. That was apparently not enough for that little plot. Oh no, like the insult to like the 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 insult to the father. I was like, yeah, no, she fucking deserved that. Yeah, no. I will admit though that I was a little bit shocked because Usually you would expect that type of behavior from Eleven when she uses her psychic powers. But when she actually used, did it physic, like, normally, that did kind of freak me out. That being said, I was pretty much one of the many people going, About fucking time! Little bitch deserved it! Wait, hang on. I never realized it. Um, come on. Back inside here. I will ask this, Golden. What do you think about the residential lovely boy that is... Well, both lovely boys that are Eddie and Steve. Um, I've grown to like Steve. His development... Like, it started to grow very, like, gradually and everything um, during uh, the previous seasons. But during season one, after he had his fight with Jonathan, all of a sudden he just wants to help out. I'm like, it, it just felt like a 90 degree turn. Uh, for me, I kind of felt that he was never really a bad person to begin with. At first, he, he does come off like a stereotypical a jock, but when you see his relationship with Nancy, he's very dorky, he's very meek, he's very loving, he's very shy, and I kind of feel like the only reason he was a little bit of an asshole, especially towards Jonathan, was because of his friends in Season 1. His friends kind of always influenced him to do bad things. Wait, I told you to shrink, what the hell? What the hell, boy? I mean, that's how I see it, anyway. What the hell, boy? No, Zuckerman, you're right. He did nothing wrong. It's just people... It's at that time when Dungeons & Dragons was looked at as, oh, it spawned Satanism and all that horse shit. Yeah, especially yeah, the, in the 80s. Remember the whole mazes and monsters thing with Tom Hanks? Oh, God, damn. Don't remind me of that. No, I... no, you were doing the right thing. Oh, but I love Eddie. Eddie's just a precious boy. Eddie is amazing. This is the best person in the town. Music! We need music! This is I music. Try a kinstone. Let's see if you have a matching kinstone. Ooh. All right. Hey, oh, look at that. Right, right on, on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys talking about this show, this was kind of reminding me that I've been watching a animation as of late with a few of my friends. Oh, oh god, is? over there. I'm over there. <laughs> um, this is a, it's actually a Legos animation. Oh. Obviously it's not the Lego movie, it's um... 
So this one's a this one's actually a 2D animation, which is kind of like rare for Legos animation, if I remember correctly. Up. Ah, Oof. So what's it called? Lego Monkey Kid. Oh yeah, that's from the same people who did uh, Rise of TMNT, right? Uh, I, what you doing? I think so. so. Looking around yeah, to see I what other the same options there are. Studio. The production that made it is called Flying Bark. Hmm. Oh, let me just double check. Uh, Rise of the TMNT. Also, Wolfhead and I are starting to watch Stranger Things, and I kind of have to hold my tongue every single time. He kind of makes a comment that foreshadows the events of the later seasons. I know that feeling. Like he met. Like, um, I kind of want to mention this one, but it's more of a big spoiler. But let's just say he mentioned something about a character, um, of a certain character we see in season four, when he brought when he when he finally saw who um the main character at the very beginning of season one, uh, season two was um Callie. He was like, oh, when are we going to see that character? All my response was just to bite my tongue and go... <laughs> yep, Brian Buck Production, they both made uh, TMNT and uh, Monkey Kid. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wait. Hang on. I'm going to show some that, pictures. you can push that middle, sh that middle book chase Wait, first. hold on a second. I, I just Come looked in. up online and found something. Ooh. Let me find a good picture of one of the characters. What if I'm saying I'm not like the others? No. Wait. Okay, this will work. Because this nope. is one. This is a easy one to recognize. At least in the art style. There we go. Hey guys, I'm gonna Oops, jump wait. out because my roommate wants to watch YouTube videos, so I'm gonna head out. See you hey. Later. All right, Missy. Bye. Take care. Hugs on the end. Hugs. 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 Hiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's her way of showing her love and affection. There we go. There. I put it in the right I put it in the right chat. <laughs> I put it in the wrong chat. But I fixed it. Wait, hold on. Well we could make a deal with God. <laughs> <laughs> it never leaves your head. It doesn't. Kate Bush's voice is so intoxicating. It's kind of amusing, too, considering oh. that I read that she and David Gilmore of Pink Floyd actually collaborated together. I think he produced one of her albums, one of her early works, which makes it pretty fucking badass. Oof. Ah, it's no good. I can't get anywhere, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, well, thanks um, for nothing. You're useless. Yeah, really. Yeah, d d stop. There. Kate Bush is also making hand over fist right now because she owns all the licensing for the song. Awesome. Oh, that's fucking good for her. Also, also every time I see that opening, I never skip it. No, it's one of those few openings I just yeah. skip. Oh Same. shit! Uh, yeah, you're uh, gonna have to go past the past the pussies. Uh, so I have to be. Damn it! Give me the pussy! Give me the pussy! Give me the pussy balls! Give me the pussy! Give me the pussy balls! Nope. I've gotta Stop. jump. <coughs> Children. Nope. Oh, oh, I got clawed. Jesus. Hey, at least uh, you, hey, got you made it. Yeah. yeah. Feed my children. I miss Filthy Frank. Who knew that this place would be behind uh, this town water pump? Hmm. Can move in and find the ministry. But yeah, Stranger Things' is, um, intro is one of the few I don't admit, I don't ever skip. It's either that one, the opening to Haunting of Hill House, and of course the opening to all of the se all the seasons to the show Dark. Good visuals, haunting music. And it just sets the tone for the show perfectly. I just finished up season two of Owl House. Oh, nice. Ah, nice. I'm glad season. I knew there was a season three. Whoa, <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah no. I saw that. <laughs> I never skipped the Friends intro. 
God damn it, of course you would say you would have friends. <laughs> you would. You would. There's That's actually a good show! Oh, you... Golden, you, you know once you know one theme song I never skip. Yes, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, he, he fucking marathon scrubs so fucking much when he roommated with us. So now every time I remember, I can't do this so no, I know I'm no I'm Superman. No <laughs> I'm no Superman. I mean, it's a good theme song, but I I, oh, there you go. It's a great fucking show. All right, I well, now I know what to do with that. It's yeah, honestly one of my favorite. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a fucking fantastic show. It's funny, it's creative. It's and just... when it gets... Go ahead. Hmm? I was just gonna say, and when it gets to the sad moments, oh boy, it gets to the sad moments. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Um... What was I about to say? You can't say suck the, the heart piece over, Damn unfortunately. It. So no Fuck. one ever told you life was gonna be this way. I post, please, I post fucking it. stop. <laughs> Guys, go ahead, Ellie. I, uh, that Jesse. was me. Really? Really? <laughs> Damn. So how do I open up the Damn. fridge? You don't yet. You don't. You're gonna have you to need come to get, back. Yeah, that one's you're gonna have to come back for. You need Damn, flippers for man. that. Anyway, um... I posted a pic one of the reference pictures that they have for the show. One of the characters for the show, Monkey Kid. Huh? That's actually not. That's actually not bad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this just, is this just fucking Lego a Lego version of Journey to the West? Yes, yeah. it is. God damn yeah. it! <laughs> and guess who's voicing the Monkey King? If you say Goku. Keanu Reeves, I'm gonna spit. I'm gonna spit out my fucking water. No, Sean Chamel. I have no idea who he is. Goku. He's the voice of Goku. God, I'm a well, that explains lizard. it even more. That's considering it. technically Dragon Ball Z is pretty much Journey to the West, but with aliens. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so it literally comes full circle. Because literally, yeah, Son Goku came from Son Wukong from Monk from the uh, yeah Journey to the West. So yeah. Let's see, oh, that makes you sense know, remember sense. that there was a movie that was essentially an adaptation of Journey to the West with Jet Li and Jackie Chan, but a huge majority of the focus was on the main character instead of the two of them. I mean, it wasn't a bad movie, but when you want to go see a movie involving Jet Li and, and Jackie Chan, you want to see Jackie Chan and Gently. Fair. But that movie wasn't bad. It was just... Eh, it could have been better. Oh, hey. Return... I want to return this book by dropping it below, but it's impossible without help and pushing. My brother is too busy with a book of his own so that he won't help me out. Maybe I can do it with one more push. Alright, I think I know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> you like need it's to... Falling on its own. Hang on, hang on. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so there should be enough space. All right. Oh, you could. That should be easy. Let's give it a bit. Also, um, Ellie, if you think um, Ryza singing the Friends theme is bad, you should have seen people making an edit where the clapping never stops. No. Son of a bitch. You gotta move away from it, remember? I mean, I there can't really say. I've only, I only saw the intro of Friends growing up, and that was about it. I, I watched it a lot because both my parents watched it. The only thing I know... And Seinfeld, too, and MASH. I mean, Seinfeld everyone seems Mash. to love Seinfeld, so... And MASH is good. I've heard good things about MASH. Oh, fuck, I'm stuck. You have to become Biggie. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were stuck. I thought I was stuck. You needed to become Biggie Smalls. I also that watched a little bit of Everybody Loves Raymond. Huh. It was a good show. I only saw the ending to Everybody Loves Raymond. God damn it. it. Although, personally, I think I should have watched that show then Two and a Half Men. I, w I still watch it sometimes. But it's I, like... I've sat down and watched Two and a Half Men, and to this day, 
I still don't get why people thought it was funny. There are some scenes I find hilarious, but I, I still find it funnier than uh, uh, Big Bang Theory. <sighs> I liked Big Bang Theory to a degree. There's some good moments. Hey, let's reference this to reference this and reference this, and somehow that's hilarious. And it was Bazinga. also... With all exactly have fucking shells the history in of masks. All right, so checked out by Hagen the Mayor. Hagen um, sounds like a metal name. He's a. All right, so. Also, history of masks. I wonder. If I that's what I was about to say. It'd be faster. Damn it! Another, another show I liked a lot was uh, George Lopez. Oh, George Lopez was funny. <laughs> this is a good show. <laughs> I think the only line that comes to mind is either he's doing drugs or he's my ex-wife. I think I prefer that he's on <clears throat> drugs. <laughs> Seinfeld, I still enjoy watching time Get to time. Get out of the way! You just realize that, that these people aren't really the best people. I mean, that's, see. that's the point of the show. You realize that everybody's yeah. an asshole. I still yeah, not sure how I feel about that talking ending. about. My husband and I were talking about that the other day, how everybody on Seinfeld is just a horrible person. And he said that he loved how, at the end of the series, they just all got thrown in jail. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen Seinfeld, but I know that everybody was very um, interested in the ending, and I think some people were just surprised by that. Like, that's it's it? Kind of, well, that's I the think point. Part of it, I think that part of it was they didn't understand the the meaning behind the characters, kind of like the whole Rick and Morty thing. Uh, or, 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 or sort of similar to um, what's the name of the show? Um, the Sopranos, where people yeah. are like, "Oh, why did you end it that way, David Chase? We were rooting for Tony Soprano." To which David Chase would go, "But Tony Soprano was a character you weren't supposed to root for. He was a sociopathic killer." And I guess that's yeah, the thing with. Um, with um, Seinfeld. You're not supposed to sympathize with the characters because they're assholes. Breaking Bad is a good example of... Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I understand there are people out there who feel sympathy for Walter and everything that Wait, happened to him. Dude, before you shrink down, flip those masks off the upper shelf. Ooh. But, like, at the uh, end uh, of the... Use the... Uh, uh, I thought that that was how that... Okay. Maybe, maybe you knock it yeah. off with the um, boots? I don't know. I was about to say, use the, um, the, that could work too. Oh! Or, or he can break him down. Oh, there you go. He broke him. But anyway, like, you don't grow to sympathize with Walter in his plight, but when he becomes Heinsberg, Heinzman, Heisberg? Heisenberg. Yeah, Heisenberg, you kind of start to, you kind of stop sympathizing with him. I mean, he does later on admit that he... After a while, it was it was he was doing it less yeah. because he wanted to save money for the hospital shit, and more because he, just he wanted to do it because he it. wanted to feel important. I would yeah. never think to use to break, like use something to break those kind of masks. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs>